Hello YouTubians, today we are going to embark on a voyage, something other than music. What contains the music? The packaging, the packaging of the CD. I call this nice package. Anyway, if we pan down and look at the table here, you see an assortment of CDs. Now, first off, full disclosure, I love all this music, but do I love the packaging? Let's see. First off, let's take this album here. This is by a musician, vocalist called Gavin Friday. The album is called Shag Tobacco. Uh, the cover is kind of cool. I like the coloration here. I like the strombozo or whatever instrument that is and the woman with her arms akimbo. And then the trick part is this. It's like a double album cover. There's Gavin Friday in the flesh, just chilling at the table. Um, he is the lead singer of the band Virgin Prunes for those of you familiar with the post-punk movement. There is the CD, kind of has a representation of the strombozo uh, out, uh, instrument, whatever. There's a table underneath there. And here's the lyric booklet here. This is one of my favorites here. Look at that picture of Gavin Friday, that's beautiful. That could be an album cover in itself. We have a little uh, prose here. Uh, there's Gavin Friday chilling in the, in the bathtub. And then we have the lyrics to all the songs. There's the band and the song. This is pretty much the lyric booklet par excellence. This, this is a, a five out of five. This is a slam dunk right here, okay? Just to kind of give you a baseline understanding of where I'm coming from, okay? This is five out of five right here. Now, let's go on the other spectrum here. This is the album um, by the band Arctic Monkeys, a British band. This is the album called Favorite Worst Nightmare. And as you can tell by the cover here, it's kind of a duplex with some weird stuff going on behind the windows. The back of the album, just some track listing. Who cares? Kind of boring. So we open it up like, oh, cool. Okay, more artwork. It's kind of like this weird art show, this funky looking like flaming head thing here, whatever the hell that is. And then the lyrics are contained in this little pocket here off to the side. The lyrics, uh, you know what? There's no lyrics in here. It's just zoomed in parts of art. There's a fork there. Who the, care who the fuck cares about that? There's a navel. There's a screaming face. There's some text there. Another screaming face. Uh, I would put this in the fail category. There's some credits and some shout outs, whatever. Great album, piss poor CD packaging. And I barely have the patience to put that back in there. Okay, there we go. Fail. Okay, then we move on. Album that came out last year by a band called Sun O, parenthesis, parenthesis. The album is called Monoliths and Dimensions. Very cool, I like the triptych here. There's the song titles. There's only like one, two, three, four songs on here, but each song is like a half hour long, whatever. So we open it up here. Very cool uh, uh, triangular patterns here. There's kind of a repetition of some patterns there. And then we have this kind of onion skin. Um, take this out here. This onion skin paper here, which is very cool. Kind of like tracing paper. Shows this uh, character trapped in this kind of triangular thing here. And then we have the, the, the onion skin here, this big black void, which is perfect for an album called Monoliths and Dimensions. Lyrics, abstract photo, looks like it could be part of the human body, maybe with some veins or something. Lyrics, perfect, perfect. Ziggurat, druids, come on, this, this, is, this is a home run right here. Druids, Druids in the forest, plain white field, and then uh, I think there's one more picture here. Oh, I'm mistaken. Anyway, I think this is an excellent one. I would probably put it just a couple notches below Gavin Friday. I think it's excellent. I was very pleased with this, and this came out, I think, 2009 or 2010, I can't remember. But anyway, this is how packaging should be done in today's modern age. If you want to appeal to people in the day and age of iTunes and Flax and downloads and stuff like that, you have to make it worthwhile to purchase the CD with the packaging. So why not get creative? Why not get artistic? I mean, your artists go all the way. 